Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can always keep a local copy of synchronized uh, files and folders on your computer. Uh, let me explain to you, if you are confused by uh, the description, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, here I have this HR team site. Uh, on this site, I have a document library. And what I did, I uh, synchronized this library to my computer. So obviously, you can see it right here. The library is uh, has been synchronized uh, to my computer, uh, and these are the same, you know, folders and files that you saw on the site. Now, when I synchronized, I utilized files on demand, which is essentially a default option. Just to show you what I mean by that, if you click on the blue cloud icon, help and settings, settings, and then settings tab again. Uh, by default, when you use OneDrive Sync. Uh, it uses files on demand. So what happens, it actually does not download the actual contents of the files and folders. It just downloads the names, all right, the hierarchy. So the actual file, let me maybe click inside of one of the folders, the actual file is not downloaded until you click on it. And this is used for situations essentially to save space on your computer, right? This way it doesn't really um, synchronize the contents. It doesn't really download the file to your computer. It doesn't take much storage. If you notice, it has this uh, blue cloud icon, meaning this file only lives in the cloud. However, if I were to uh, open this uh, you know, file and uh, maybe do something with this file, make some changes, uh, then it will turn into this green checkbox icon, meaning that the file is now physically present on my computer as well as in the cloud. Uh, but here's the situation. Uh, let's just say maybe I need to walk offline for some time. Maybe I need to fly on airplane and I need maybe a particular set of files to be present on my computer locally. All right. I don't need the entire library. I just maybe need this folder and everything underneath. So what you can do is this. All right. Instead of disabling this files on demand feature, right? Because in that case, it will just download the entire library to your computer. I just need this folder and once again, everything inside of it. So what you need to do is right click on this folder and over here, choose always keep on this device. So let me do that. And what you will notice, uh, it takes a few seconds, of course, for it to sync up. But if you notice the icon has changed uh, from um, you know the previous icon to the dark green checkbox. And what that means is that now I physically downloaded the contents of this folder. If you notice, once I click inside of that folder, it downloads everything inside of that folder as well. So now the files are physically resided on my computer. And that's really useful because now I can uh, disconnect from Wi-Fi, maybe if I'm on airplane, I can make some changes. And um, at that uh, point of time, of course, I will not have internet connection, so I will not be able to download the files, but at least I will be able to work on them because I have those files residing locally. And that's essentially what I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, it's a nice little trick if you need certain files you know, physically present uh, you know, on your computer. Um, you can still utilize files on demand, but you can now a force certain you know files to be present on your computer uh, as well and essentially be downloaded on demand uh, that's all i wanted to show you in this uh quick video hopefully you learned something new as always happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com and thank you for watching goodbye